Mm. As you ask about marijuana, I have nothing but good things to say about the herb that we call ganja. As a youth, I used to, from about 12, 13 years old, I used to smoke herb. My point about that is that when people say that herb lead you to other drugs, first, that's a lie. My experience tells me that. The next thing, the world is confused about marijuana. They don't know whether to legalize it, this criminalize it, or not. In America, the greatest country in the world, the state and the federal government cannot agree. They are confused. Because there are certain states where the herb is legal by the state and the federal government going and say it's illegal. That's confusion within the government. Cha -cha. Now, in terms of where it stands within the Rastafari community, high as a Rastaman has been defended by the Almighty Creator through the hearts of man. That I went through some hard times and struggle with the possession of that wonderful spiritual Jaja Rastafari. Now, Jamaica is on the world stage about legalization. And I would encourage my government to look into the struggle of the Rastaman who has been the vanguard and paid the price in suffering through many different levels of oppression for defending the herb, for planting the herb. Cha cha Rastafari for supplying the herb. And today we see Jamaica government give a license to the University of the West Indies for herb to plant for them and also to use as medicinal purpose. Well, we as Rasta, we have it for all purpose. And our main purpose is the sacramental purpose. Cha cha! And we don't want it coming like sugarcane and banana and bauxite in Jamaica. Because the Rasta community pay a heavy price. Cha cha! For the herb, when you say it was drugs, you are lying on it. And we are here to speak the truth that the herb is a spiritual herb and we love it. Cha cha. That's the fire.